Hey, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This uh, Smith & Barnes piano, I forgot to do the video before we started tearing it apart, so I thought, uh, I, even though I'm about two hours too late of uh, starting this video, I thought we'd get a um, kind of a rundown of, of what's going on here and how dramatic a change. And plus, I mean, how cool that, uh, that we get an angle of, of the piano that we don't usually see. So uh, and this, this gives you a good... Have a good, uh, good feel. You can see this, this whole thing. This bottom stretcher has been, has, has come, come down. Got issues there. It cracks in the, this bottom panel here, and it's coming, coming loose there. We're going to be putting in, putting in all new strings. We've got pretty significant cracks in the soundboard here, and that bridge looks like. It has some issues. Uh, it's not it's not the worst I've ever seen by any means, but uh, but it's, it's got some issues. Like I said and lots of corrosion. Let's let's come up to come up to the top of the panel here. The tuning pins and and by the way, for those of you that haven't figured it out yet, this is an upright panel on its back. Um, So this crack here, this is actually not part of the soundboard. The soundboard doesn't start there. You can hear it, and this is this is where it cuts off. And then this, of course, just has nothing to do with the sounds of the soundboard at all. I don't know. We might fill the crack regardless, just for cosmetics. I mean, this this part here is is there for cosmetics anyway. In European pianos, they they generally don't have this cosmetic um, piece here. You can just see straight through to the back. And I think we'll also paint this. This is cast iron, of course, and cast iron, the natural color is black, so this is just the natural color, I'm pretty sure. So we'll, we'll probably go ahead and, and, and do our automotive paint job on this part of the plate, as well as we'll probably do this and we'll do our own you know, recreation of these designs. And all of these screws, as usual, will be beautiful. This upper termination doesn't look terrible. It's original, of course. These strings are full of lots of corrosion. These and clearly we've got to put new strings on there. We've got a history of breaking strings. And uh, is the action upstairs? It is. Okay. Then uh, <coughs> suffice it to say that the action is in pretty similar condition to this, which is uh, for a hundred year old piano or, or probably a little more. Do we know what year this is? 1890s. Oh, is it 1890s? Okay. So that's really getting up there. 130 years old or so. Um, needless to say, the action just needs to be totally rebuilt. So that's what is in store. Actually, somebody put a sticker that says 80. 18, oh, 1888. Cool. All right. 130, uh, let's see, 133 years old. That is very old. And the keys? Kind of condition. Mangled? Good word. Keys are mangled. Okay. Keys, of course, this is the balance rail here. And uh, that's where the keys pivot. We're going to replace all of this. This will just be all beautiful and shiny and everything will be functional. As the final shot, why don't you come, why don't you come over here, Mike, and get a shot of down there by the pedals. You can kind of see, um, I mean, that's, that's very typical. All of that, you know, decades literally, or over a century of, uh, of just kind of dirt and debris. So that'll be immaculately clean, and this piano will be sounding amazing, perfectly functional, and a beautiful work of art.